The spectacular Copacabana Beach in Rio was the setting for the women's triathlon event at the 2016 Paralympics in front of an enthusiastic crowd who'd gathered to be part of a significant event as the first women's paratriathlon medals in Paralympic history were to be decided. Gold medals were to be awarded in three races to be staged in the PT4, PT2 and PT5 classifications. First into the warm Indian Ocean for the 750 metre swim were the 11 athletes taking part in the PT4 race. It was a light swell courtesy of the light easterly breeze. 18-year-old Grace Norman, the current world champion from the United States, got off to a flying start ahead of Lauren Stedman from Great Britain, her predecessor as the world champion in 2015. The university student from Ohio held her advantage all the way through the swim and into the transition, clocking 10 minutes 42 seconds for her swim leg. 30 seconds faster than Stedman, a 23-year-old psychology student from Portsmouth. I headed into T1. The bike leg comprised 22.28 kilometers, or four laps of the course along the Copacabana beachfront. The all-important transitions can help athletes gain or lose valuable seconds, and on this occasion, it was Stedman who clawed back 27 seconds and leading into the second leg on the bike. She was soon in good rhythm and moved past Norman on the first lap. Australian Kate Doty, third out of the water, was holding on to that position on the bike leg. There was plenty of support for all the athletes along the course, and impressing was Lauren Stedman, with the best time of 49 minutes and 16 seconds, 10 seconds faster than Grace Norman, gliding past and heading into the second transition. Norman entered T2, 13 seconds behind the British athlete. Doty was two minutes and one second off the lead, and Gladys Lemousseau of France in fourth place, a further minute and 11 seconds back. The final grueling leg was two two and a half kilometer laps, making up a five kilometer run. Norman lost another 13 seconds in the transition, resulting in her needing to work hard to chase down Stedman. And her efforts paid off as she raced past Stedman. We had to dig deep to hold off the threat from behind from Lemusu in third. Grace Norman surged ahead to post a run time of 20 minutes and 15 seconds, becoming the first woman Paralympic para triathlon gold medalist. Lauren Stedman finished second just over a minute back, and a strong run by Lemusu saw her pass Doty to take the bronze medal for France. Gold to Grace Norman of the United States, silver to Great Britain's Lauren Stedman, and bronze to Gladys Lemusseau. Third after the swim, Doty eventually finished fifth. The women's PT2 classification got underway with eight entrants from six nations facing the starter. Among them a trio of medal contenders from the United States, including world champion Elisa Seeley. The water temperature gauged at approximately 21 degrees Celsius. The swim once again was staged over 750 meters and it was Melissa Stockwell from the United States who got off to the best start. The 26-year-old 2012 world champion found the conditions to her liking as she clocked 12 minutes and 5 seconds for the swim. Japan's Yukako Hata was second out of the water, 28 seconds behind Stockwell and Seeley was third, just eight seconds behind Harta. A swift transition by Seeley saw her move ahead of the Japanese athlete going into the bike leg. She's also in transition, ripping that wet suit off. There goes Melissa Stockwell from the USA. Alyssa Seeley is in the colocation. Amateu Uyarte da Espanha, na sexta, e da França. The third of the Americans, Haley Danisevich, was fifth out of the swim, but her strength was the bike leg, and she was soon moving swiftly through the field, passing Seeley and Stockwell on lap two. And by the time she had completed her fourth lap, she was the race leader. It was shaping up for an American trifecta, with the United States one, two and three going into the run leg. A quick transition from Elisa Seeley put her second with every chance for a late charge at gold as she took off for that final five kilometer run. <laughs> 
Seeley was a woman on a mission, keen to add Paralympic gold to a world title won in Rotterdam earlier this year. Behind her, Danisevich and Stockwell were now in a fight for the silver medal. For Seely, it was all about gold. She clocked 24 minutes and 13 seconds, a minute and 21 seconds faster than anyone else on the run, for a combined total of 1 hour, 22 minutes and 55 seconds. In second place, Haley Danisevich from the United States and the bronze medal, completing the US domination with Melissa Stockwell in third. A clean sweep of the podium for the United States. The women's PT5 classification race for visually impaired athletes had 10 entrants with a staggered start. The two B1 class athletes and their guides starting three minutes ahead of the remainder of the athletes. The two B1 classified athletes were Patricia Walsh from the United States and Jolene Hacker from the Netherlands. There was little between the pair, the first boy. With the B1 athletes on their way, the rest of the athletes started their 750 metre swim from the dock. Leading the charge and being first into the beach was Jolene Hacker from the Netherlands. It was tight in the transition, with one of the fastest away being Katie Kelly from Australia. Her strong bike credentials in the back of her mind, she was preparing to take on the 22.28 kilometer leg with her guide Michaeli Jones, a silver medalist in the women's triathlon back in Sydney in 2000. Led into the second transition, the race for gold, silver and bronze was well and truly on. Heading into the final leg, the five kilometer run over two laps, it was Kelly of Australia first, Melissa Reed of Great Britain in second, and Alison Patrick of Great Britain in third. The run leg saw a fierce battle for the bronze medal as Elizabeth Baker from the United States and Melissa Reed swapped places numerous times over the five kilometers. And with the finish in sight, it was Reed who applied the pressure. Baker cracked and stumbled, her chances of a medal gone. At the end of a grueling triathlon in hot, humid conditions, Katie Kelly powered to the line to take the gold medal for Australia, alongside her guide, Michaeli Jones, who became the first athlete to win an Olympic and a Paralympic medal.